Sometimes it's frustrating to read the Bible because uh, when we read through the Bible, it does it isn't like most other books, particularly book of, books of history. Uh, the, the majority of the Bible is a, a record of the history of the nation of Israel, how God worked through them to bring salvation to the world. It's frustrating because the books are not all in chronological order. And so you kind of have to jump around to figure out what the chronology is, especially when you get to the, the prophets. They're at the end, yet they are meant to be uh, kind of inserted at different places in the history of Israel. This is when they actually did their work. So the question is, do we read the Bible chronologically or do we read it just in the order of the books? What's better? And uh, my response is, I think both are valuable. Uh, God gave us the Bible in a certain order. And so I, I think that the collection of the canon is a subset of the issue of inspiration. Why are these books in an order that they, they're in? Well, people put it together in a certain order, but I think God had a hand in it. And, uh, and, and so kind of reading in that order is, is, is going to be helpful. Um, however, it's also helpful to try to follow the history because theology develops historically through the revelation of salvation through the nation, uh, through the, through the nation of Israel. And so going through the text and reading them uh, chronologically is helpful too. Now we don't know where all of the prophets, and particularly some of the minor prophets, fit into the historical narrative. But if you have a, uh, a Bible study plan that allows you to, to follow the history and then bring in the prophets or the wisdom literature, whatever, at appropriate times, I think that's a great way to read. The only problem is, is when you come into the Gospels, and here is where the order, I think, uh, or the lack of chronological order that you find in some of the Gospels is, is, uh, is theologically significant. Um, you can get a, a, a kind of a, a harmony of the Gospels where all the Gospels are woven together and you kind of get everything in order. God gave the Gospels, though, the way he gave them because they are topically organized. And that means he wants us to understand things according to topics and not necessarily the way everything chronologically happened. Understanding the chronology is more of a Western mindset. Understanding the groupings of ideas, that's more of the purposes of the authors of the, the Gospels. And so it's okay to read the Gospels chronologically if you have a Life of Christ in stereo or something like that. But we also want to be asking the question when we go through a particular book, why were these events grouped the way they were? Why did Matthew or Luke or John put things in this way? Why did he put them side to side? Lots of times there's a larger point that's being made, and that's an important point for us to get. So, should we read the, the, the text chronologically? Sometimes this is really helpful. This is especially true in the Old Testament, but what we don't want to do is we don't want to miss the significance of the grouping of things that we find in the Gospels that were inspired by God.